A woman at this road gig told me she thought I stole a joke from a more successful comedian, but turns out she'd just seen me recently in a much nicer place. <laughs> Damn. What a way to be told that the place you were just at is beneath you. Went to the store wearing my own merch because I'm out of clean clothes, and the person at the register said, Oh my god, I love that artist. And I said, OMG, yeah, me too, and promptly left. Really goes to show, you're not a true fan of that artist if you can't tell when they clearly haven't washed their clothes for a week. Back in Halloween 2019, I got Best Costume Award and 500 dollars dues for looking so much like Young Gravy. Dude, you look just like Young Gravy. From the Instagram story of Old Mustard. Haha, <laughs> post-work fan. Family selfie from Goa. Who does baby Tara look like more? Congratulations! And what happened to the first legally wedded wife? Hmm? <laughs> Anyways, nice family picture. What does it matter to you, nosy auntie? Oh, black hair dyed hawk girl, no. It's like you've come to sit in the cinema an hour already into the movie. Because I am still his legally wedded wife who was thrown out of the house. What a stable man jumping into different relationships the moment he can. Guy in line at Disneyland. Dude, you have a great voice! Thank you. You should be a narrator! You should do stuff professionally! Yeah, maybe I should. You have like a YouTube voice! Yeah, I get that a lot. No, seriously, you should make money! Yeah, maybe. Let's just casually show that subscription number for ProZD on YouTube right now. Yeah, pretty good. Meanwhile, to resolving the real world issues. Hey, that Walmart truck is my design. Here's my proof. Uh, wrong! I watched a build tutorial! Yeah, and guess who made the tutorial? Da 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 da! Minecraft Walmart semi-trailer truck tutorial, you loser! But oh, sorry, this post has been removed by the moderators of r slash Minecraft. Looks like Bowl Latun had to have a bowl of humility. The breakfast nailed that joke. From the Twitter account, alternative Noah! The USNS Comfort is usually in port, Norfolk, during a hurricane season in case it's needed. Now, for some reason, the Navy decided to sail it to Colombia. Oddly enough, many politicians in Colombia are Mar-a-Lago members, previously yeah. reported. Hmm. This hospital ship is huh. critical. Hmm, um, oh God, what do you want? Uh, you obviously weren't in the Navy or Coast Guard, or you'd know that the best place to be on a ship in a major storm is at sea, not slamming against a pier. You should learn the facts, even though the motto of libs is never let the facts get in the way of a good story. <laughs> I'm captain, you butthat. Uh, look, look how triggered you are, d dismantling my argument with a single comment. <laughs> Making me cry? <laughs> you're, so, you're so triggered. Today, I was wearing my sick-as-hell metallic PlayStation shirt, and a dude at a store asked me if I even play PlayStation. And then, when I told him I worked there, he proceeded to tell me he's been looking for a job. Bad move, my guy. Here's an idea. Just don't gatekeep in general. Stop playing immigration police on your hobby. It's what causes hobbies to die out. Twitter user explains to a movie director how directing a film works. So in regards to how Marvel actually makes movies years before, I I've got mixed feelings about this, technically speaking. It's amazing. It also makes me wonder just how many directors approached by Marvel left after seeing just how tightly controlled the situations are. It's not exactly 100% craft ownership. Hi, James Gunn here, need no further introduction. Most of the directors control what the previous is. It's another tool like storyboarding. Uh, all previews for the Guardians movies is based on my storyboards. Actually, hi, John Schlauser. I do need to introduce myself because I'm folding my arms, so I'm a big deal, obviously. Marvel hires lower directors who have only done a few films and promises them ability to make their own future films if they agree to make a Marvel film that they have no control over. In fact, they barely direct as a familiar crew usually do it, like on any TV show. Thanks for this inside information on the job that I have and that you do not. Twitter is quite a thing sometimes. That's not a wasp, it's a mud dubber, and they're basically harmless. Uh, sorry, I didn't realize I was giving an entomology lesson. I am an ACE, Associate Certified Entomologist, and a mud dauber is a wasp. I mean, technically he is true, mud daubers are basically harmless. But so is everything if it doesn't yet intend to kill you. I meet a woman in an art studio. She asks what I do. Writer, I say. What are you writing? A book on super rich people who claim to change the world. Well, are they? She asks. No, I say. That's the point of the book. Oh, she said. So later I learned she was Elon Musk's mom. Ouch. No, but this is great because 
he obviously didn't know who she was. So this comment would have digged into her even more than someone who actually would have known her. And who knows, maybe you've inspired her to get the book. When I literally wrote the article. Oh, you want to read the article first? You're about to share an article you haven't opened on Twitter. I know what's in it, I wrote it. Oh, we know, it's just... Mm. Do you think it's good enough to share? Yeah, what, what do you mean? No, nothing, no, it's cute. Look, you can share it, it's fine, it's cute. No, wh no, what do you mean? Attempting to disparage someone for their looks. Oh dear, at Katie Piper. Katie Piper, who is she? <laughs> no one knows who she is compared to me. Mick Mox, you know, yep. With lips full of Botox and a designer face drawn by surgeons on the advertising platform called Sky News, promoting a publication about people needing to be honest with themselves. Couldn't make it up, could you? There are so many ways to constructively criticize the unrealistic expectations of beauty we shove through media. You don't attack a skinny person just because they're not as large as you. It's not the advocation for respect and equality that you think it is. But hey, who is Katie Piper? Well, my face has been rebuilt by surgeons using other parts of my body after my face was melted down to the muscle and skeleton following an acid attack. But regardless, I don't owe you, pretty. Perhaps use your time more productively than commenting on women's appearances in the internet. Uh, you don't understand, Katie. I was rejected by three girls in college. This is the only way I can prove to myself that women don't matter to me. By making how much I dislike them my character. Explaining what baguette means to a French person. In what world does baguette mean wand? It's bread in French. Why would they fight with bread? It's just a sloppy translation overall. Uh, no, actually baguette means wand. Uh, the name for the bread is actually bread de pont, which can be translated to wand of bread. It doesn't mean bread at all, it means wand. So baguette mag pig. Shit, oh no. <laughs> oh, I've been exposed, I'm not actually French. So baguette magic is the right way to call a wand, said the French person. No, you're wrong, not you are wrong. It's your, the wrong is yours now, apparently. It means bread, everyone uses it. <laughs> can I say, I just called you a translation and I'm French. Obviously, you can tell by my incredible accent. I will look it up later, but I'm pretty sure you're using it wrong. Well, you're using your wrong. How can we trust you if you can't even English? He's right though. Baguette just means wand, not bread. I don't know where you learned that. They learned it through the power of assumption. You know there was a whole book and film made out of this song, right? Replying to Michael Rosen. No, I didn't. Go on, tell me more. I just realized. You wrote it. That makes the original tweet even more hilarious. <laughs> what a pansy I am. Well, I mean, at least you acknowledge it. Honestly, if you want people to get over what silly thing you did, just admit the L. The more you double down, the more people will just make fun of you. It's not shameful to practice humility every now and then. So I'm publicly credited for finding vulnerabilities in a wide range of software, including in password managers, but yeah, sure. My gosh, it's October and we're still with unhackable and 100% safe as marketing terms. Really, it's a terrible Terrible look. Uh, terrible? What are you saying? The tool is in fact almost 101% safe. That statement is entirely meaningless marketing fluff. <laughs> it's clear that you have minimal to no knowledge about password security. Oh, Windows Portable apps, you were just asking to be hacked. The only thing I do not like about Philo is that you cannot pause live TV and wait commercials out. Commercials are hard-coded into the timestamp and you cannot fast forward. Yeah, I hope we get around to this soon. I have proposed a feature to fix this, but haven't been able to prioritize it above other things so far. Oh, it's intentional at this point. I personally communicated with the CEO of Philo on here and voiced my displeasure about this two years ago. Uh huh, wow, interesting. That's, wow, because I am the CEO of Philo. Sorry it hasn't happened sooner though. Let's just put that comment through an honesty translator. Get out of here, you bullshit! Uber driver doesn't realize he's talking to the author. So this is Adullah. He's the lovely and kind Uber driver who drove me to the beach today in Perth. He asked me what I was doing in Australia, and I told him I've been traveling for the last two and a half months. He said, oh, like Julia Roberts in that movie. Yes, my friend, just like that. Oh, come on, please tell me you told him. He deserves to know. He's clearly a fan. I was plowing Ooh. a street oh. last night and got to the end, turned around and started plowing oh. the other side. Oh. Oh. A man waved me down. I rolled down the window. Using some pretty salty language, he complained that I had gotten snow in the bottom of his driveway. Then he told me that he was going to call and report me. I smiled and said, to who? His face changed as he finally recognized me and said, 
I'm so embarrassed. I laughed and cleared the end of his driveway. Going through the security at the airport and the TSA guy looks at my bandit mask and says, I see you must have been at the gaming convention. You into Borderlands? I smile and say, yeah, you could say that. Just casually the CEO of Borderlands in general. Here we have a man playing some weird form of American cricket. I was just in the elevator at my hotel in full golf attire. A guy asked if I was headed to Liberty National and I said I sure was. And then he asked if I thought some of the players were staying at this hotel. I'm pretty confident the answer was yes. So in the line to see Deadpool, a film where they mention me by name, a guy started explaining who Deadpool was to me. In case you don't know, Gail Simone wrote Deadpool. Yeah, but see, she didn't create Deadpool, so she, you know, that's still, still valid for me to explain it. Here we have the Gen Z version of Sabrina the Teenage Witch, to which someone says, So pretty, Emma Watson. Thank you. I had an amazing time filming Harry Potter and am really thrilled about all the new projects I'm doing now. I mean, Emma Watson's pretty amazing, so that's really a compliment either way. On my flight, I was talking to a guy next to me and it came up that I run. He starts telling me how I need to train high mileage and pulls up an analysis he made of a pro runner's training on his phone. The pro runner was me. It was my training. Didn't have the heart to tell him. Okay, look, all right. So I get that is probably, yes, it probably is mansplaining, but come on. The dude is using you as an example of exemplary skill and effort. Would probably help if he actually knew the face of the person he was using an example of, though. Once I told a man he looked like Jeff Goldblum, and he was like, who's that? So I pulled up a pic and he said, oh my, what a compliment, he's very handsome. Then, as he was walking away, my friend walked up to me and was like, Hey, I'm pretty sure the guy you were talking to was Jeff Goldblum. That's Dame Annie Lennox. She sold 80 million records worldwide and won four Grammys, eight Brit Awards, and a guy named Oscar. She owns him now. He's legally her property. Ooh, I think I'm in with a chance. Dear Annie Lennox, Kylie here from Radio Los Angeles. I came across your music online, and I really like what I heard. I'm the new music coordinator for a station that has over 100,000 unique listeners each month. I find artists who I think have potential and get them in rotation on our station. If you'd like, please send over the MP3 of your latest single. I'll forward it to Glenn, our program director here at Blank, to see if he's interested in putting it in rotation. He was replying to her posting actual images from the comic. You have never read an issue of Iron Man in your entire life, have you? I'm sure you think it is beneath you. It's okay, you were not the first, but some honesty would be nice. Hi, Dana Schwartz here. I literally wrote Rescue 2020 to dovetail with the Iron Man 2020 story. So, I uh, yes, I have read Iron Man. Hmm, huh, this Twitter account only seems to report on the weather. Why is that? Why not report on real news unless you are afraid of the outcome? You know, like how Florida has been reporting falsified COVID numbers. Clearly trying to come at it with an agenda. I'm a meteorologist. I report on the weather. That is why. How dare you apply reasoning to my conspiracies! Someone lied on their resume. Talk to some women developers. And of course, the person without a legitimate profile picture says, I do. From Wall Street to Watson Research to a little big data startup in Tennessee. Not a thing. It's made up leftist claptrap. Watson Research, you claim. Funny. I'm a chief scientist at IBM Research, having worked with Watson since the Jeopardy Challenge. And I've never heard of you. This is the dumbest cover art I've ever seen. Oh, I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's pretty good if you haven't seen it. Oh, buddy, Ryan Johnson directed the movie. Oh, so he's seen it been made, but he hasn't seen it. Huh, yeah, checkmate. This guy seems rather familiar towards affection. Hey, you look like Rick Astley, mate. Mwah. Thanks, I'm better looking though. 